Okay, good morning, everyone. I don't know if you can hear me. And here we are. Uh, and Verizon's at the first target, so. <laughs> it's like yesterday all over. <laughs> or Friday. I mean, these things are going to the targets before we even could do them. Hmm. Interesting. So all the numbers I gave are different, but I'm still going to do this. This definitely has to rally now, but it may not. So I think you got to give yourself two trades in this if we're going to be aggressive because it's collapsing. GLOP. I need more coffee. I don't like these. Bob, you always find these weird ones. <laughs> you always find these weird, <laughs> weird names. One twenty five for the cues today. I like Verizon. I'm doing Verizon. I'm just saying it's you know, I don't know where we're taking it. Oh cool, I did look at this, but I'll look at it again. This is fine. Verizon's better. Let's just watch this. This is the best cat. I said Yahoo you could watch for a long. Again, I like to do the shorts. If for some reason this reverse wishes we won't do it, then I'm probably going to flip to Yahoo. But Yahoo will be a long, so you know. Market is extremely bullish. Very. And looks like it's going to break out today, at least in the queues. Okay, good luck, everyone. One quick trade in this, though, because of the market. That's my plan of action. Okay. Here it goes. 50, 20. Okay, no one should be in this yet. Let's be a little patient. I wanted it to rally anyways, so. Okay, just be patient. <clears throat> Okay, just be patient. I did that. Just, just wait. Let's see what Yahoo did. Nope. Nothing stood up yet. Okay, just wait. 
This could rally all the way up to 51. No one should be in this. There's nothing to do yet. Just wait. Okay. Stop's going to be 95. This is not going to be small. We're going to do 45 by 95. 45 by 95 if it hits, and don't jump the gun on this. A little bit bigger than I thought, but which is fine. 45 by 95, short Verizon, if it hits, and don't jump the gun on this, and just don't. We may get a better entry here, but don't jump the gun, because if this doesn't hit, we may get something else. Forty-five by ninety-five. Here, do it right now. Do it right now. Get it. Get it. Get the stop in. Ninety-five. There. That was it. That was it. That was it. Ninety-five. Wow. Here, is everybody in? In fact, I may give this a little bit more room. You got to be in it. No, 95. 95 on Verizon. It's boom or bust. Let's see what happens. And you can still take it here. You can still take it here. You can still take it here if you want it. Here goes the market. 125 in the queues today. Let's look at Yahoo. Yahoo looks great. Yahoo, you could go long Yahoo. Target's 45. Let's stick with what we got. Here, here, does everyone have it? Whoa, patience is a virtue. Here we go, $50 though. Here, I'm getting out of half at 50 bucks. In fact, should we get out of the whole thing? Let me just look. No, let's do, let's do this, here. If it doesn't break the low of the day, we're gonna get out of half. If it breaks the low of the day, I think it breaks 50. We have to pay attention now. T probably worked too. I'll look at that later. Time of the day is This is going to work. Great. Great. Great, 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 great. This is a good gap, people. This is the only good short today. What happened with the low coal? Here, I'll look at it later because this could just drop right now. Low of the day is 50.20. Let's just look at the market. 125 in the queues today. Wow. Just everything. What did Baba do? Baba fell. I knew that would then. Uh, we'll go over that then. We'll go over Baba when we're done. Verizon, you could be in. T, no, T didn't do anything right. This is kind of funky looking. What did J&J &J do? J&J &J had a drop. I didn't want to do this, but this, this ended up working too. This ended up working too, this J&J. &J. There was another really expensive one too. I forget what it was. LMT, that was it. Here, Verizon. Did everybody get it? I don't know. The bullishness in the market, maybe we should just take it wherever it goes under the low. Mm -hmm. This is really breaking early, though, considering. Shower Singer got it. Pyro got it. Javad's got it. Came and do got it. Journey Woman, I thought you were, your daughter just had a baby and you weren't going to be here. Congratulate Journey Woman. She's a grandmother. Here, 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 here. 50-20, Verizon. Beautiful. Rainy day in New York. Let's do this and go back to bed. Here, Verizon. Oh, beautiful. Here, it looks good though. I think it goes 
I think it goes to 49 today, but once again, I'll never see that number. I said the same thing yesterday about whatchamacallit, the QCOM. All right, hold on. 50.05. You could, okay, Big Fudge got out. I still think it keeps going, but that, that you could get out the fir first half there, yes. I didn't realize it hit 50. That just, this is just moving so fast. Here, let's try to stay with it a little bit longer. Okay, one more push down in Verizon and then we'll take it. This isn't going to go anywhere near our stop anyways, so. One more push and we'll take it. Okay, geez, it's, just, it's just moving so fast. Time of the day is 9.37. You could have gotten all out there. Some people did. I, I, I didn't realize it bounced so close to 50 or I would have taken it. It's moving very quickly. I'm not going to look at anything else right now because I don't want to miss my exit on this. And the market is bullish, which I talked about this morning. We'll talk about when I'm done. So I really do think we just get this one more break through the low and we just take it. Again, we talked about this yesterday. I talked about it in the webinar last night. Let's just make money. It's the accuracy. That's the pick. It doesn't matter how many are. Who, who cares? Here, Verizon. Under 20, we should break again. Gators out. That's okay. That's okay. Here. Under 20, we should go through the low. Come on, come on, come on. Here. Yay. All right, I can't look at your comments right now because I have to watch this. As soon as I'm done, I will. <clears throat> Here it goes. Nice, 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 nice. 9.40, 9.45. We got to be out of this by 9.40, 9.45. But I got to tell you, this does look great. I said the same thing yesterday here at Verizon about whatchamacallit about the QCOM, and that went to a crazy number. In fact, if this doesn't break this right here, I'm going to take it. Here, here it goes. Yay. It's got to do it, though. I'm going to take it. Hurry. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not going to let it bounce. I don't want it to go over 15. I'm out. I took it. It looks great. I still think it goes to 49 something. I took it. I just give it, I give it one second. That's it. But it probably keeps going. I, I didn't want it to get over 50, 15. Here, let's see. It probably keeps going though. I mean, it's a good gap. I just, the bullet market's so bullish. Here, I would have taken it right there if I hadn't gotten out two seconds ago. It's going to bounce at 940. This is still a great trade. No matter where you got it, again, accuracy, 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 accuracy. This will never go anywhere near where we had the stop though, I will tell you. But, you know, it's where do you want to get out? So, where he got out? Okay. Best trader out at 5011. Very good. I do think this breaks 50 and that that's the number it should collapse. Here it could do it right here now. Here it goes. It's going to, if you're still in it, you're going to get it. I just didn't want it to pop over 15. Here it goes. It's going. Stay with the trade. If you're still in it, I'm out. But stay with it if you're still in it. If you had the guts to hold it, here it goes. It's going to break the low. Market is just so bullish. Here, here it goes. Verizon under the low, under 50. It should collapse, but I really think this is a morning exit. Coming up, coming up under 50. You got to take at least half out. Don't hold this whole thing all the way down, even though it could very well go to $49. Cairo's still in it. Cayman Dude's out at 50.10. New York City Bob's out. I John's out. Very good. Disciplined dude, are you out or you're not out or?
Are you 90% out? Yeah. So I, I had a webinar, a webinar last night. The trial people were probably there. Students probably weren't. But it's amazing that I really didn't put it together until last night when I was talking how many things have really, really, really sold off in 2017. We have had two swooshes since the start of the year. It hasn't even been a month. We have had some really major sell-offs in stocks in 2017. Is it, did anyone besides me realize that before last night? I only realized that last night. I don't know why it just dawned on me as I was talking. There have been some huge sell-offs in stocks in 2017. So, you know, it's I, 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 two swooshes and some big sell-offs. I mean, big sell-offs in, in the things we played. I mean, it is uncanny almost. And look at this thing. Nice trade for your first day back, Trader Dog. Yes. Okay, very good. I'm a perma bull. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Is that a different language? You're at $210 profit because you took 500 shares with a 40 cent risk. Another great winning trade. You're welcome. Susanna, you need a, um, a fake name in here. Everybody does uh, 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 that are the regular people. I'm permanently bullish. On the market? Yes for now if there comes a day where i say the market is in a downtrend then you know get ready because the chances of that are slim to none anytime soon but should i ever pronounce that which i can't see me doing that for the next five years at least here verizon then we you know get ready to short i mean if i say the market is gonna break then get ready because the fact is that I don't see it. I don't see it anytime soon. I, I do love to short, and I'm really good at shorting. But the market is bullish. I can't say that it's not. It is. One of the things about looking at something in one direction more often than not, which I do because I, I prefer to short, is that I got good at looking at longs. And I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you the market is extremely bullish. And if I ever say that the market is going to break or has broken, then get ready. I don't see that happening in the next five years, but you know, obviously it could happen in the time in our lifetime, in the time that I'm trading, in the time that I'm running the room or the business. <sighs> Joera, you need a fake name too. That's right. All right, let's look at the market. So we ran up here to 124, 123.77, 125 looks in sight. We didn't break out yet. We're trying. We're very, very, you know, we're one, two, we're trying, we're trying. The spy is lagging. Why? Let's look at the banks. There's nothing wrong with these banks. I don't know why the SPY is not going yet. Let's look at Yahoo. Yahoo, you know, I didn't rate this, but it is a long. It's not getting going yet. But, you know, looking at the market, this doesn't look half bad here today. I didn't call an entry in this. <clears throat> what happened to the one that Bob liked? It flipped. J&J did work for one quick trade. Would have given this a wide stop because of the price point and the cushion. Where did it go? It did have a move. I mean, this did have a move. You could have quick took it and quick got out. I didn't rate this gap. I wasn't thrilled about it, but it had earnings and it did collapse. What happened to QCOM today? Rest day for this, but this is really not good for this stock. What happened yesterday, as you know, went to some crazy number. Did anybody even see this number of 54 or anything near there? Wow, I mean, what a move. But it never went in the afternoon. The move in the morning was way too big. <sighs> Verizon's going to set up again. Here, you want another trade in this? You can do it right in here now. Stop 
This is a real trade. It's not a kamikaze. You could short Verizon again here for 50 50s a stop. Just short it. If you want another trade, if you absolutely have to do something, if you really want to do it, in fact, put it at 50 55 just to be safe. This probably breaks $50. It has not done it yet. I'm glad I got out. Uh, but between now and 10 o'clock, it looks like it's going to try to break the low. Target's 49 and very well could get to that today. So you tomorrow need to get back to work. Thanks again. Great call. You'll continue your risk manager. Perhaps next week you'll raise your risk to $400 and increase your shares. That's up to you. If you feel that you're comfortable doing that, that's fine. As long as you size yourself right, you're good. Which I think you're doing. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go over it. This did nothing wrong. It rallied. It did not reverse swoosh. It just rallied, which is fine. And we gave it a wide stop. So anyways, it hit. Hit, drop, broke, we did it, boom. You had time to get it again and hit it in here. If you didn't get it in here, you had time, time, time. Broke, some people got out here, it was fine. I gave it a little bit more rum. To where he has to go to, fine. Anyways, let's look at the gap. This was a good gap. Again, it fell, it fell into the first target in the pre-market. Did that bother me? No, but I was cautious of that. Cautious of that because BMY did the exact same thing on Friday. The exact same thing it did it on Friday, and you're like, ah, uh, da, da. And I did have other targets and other numbers, $49.50, $49, but whenever that happens, you wonder. And I say, I think this needs to rally, and it definitely needs to rally. And it did. And it did, and I didn't have a problem with the rally. So where did this go? Here. Didn't do anything wrong. And this should hold 50-50 or thereabouts. If it doesn't, it's probably done for the morning. Boy, I had a good exit on that. Look. Koala bear's out. Okay. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Today is Tuesday. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's go over BABA. Does anyone have any questions about any other stocks? Otherwise, I want to go over BABA because it didn't have earnings, and I never called an option in it, and I want to, I want to go over it a little bit. Did anyone ever, um, do, or has anyone done anything else? Let's see where this went. 50-54, this held 55 if you just did that. By the hair, if it's skinny, chin, chin. Ooh, a nice exit on this for me. All right, let's look at BABA. Okay, so BABA, I, I didn't do anything in this. I didn't do anything in this. And the way that it acted and traded after this drop-off here since the last, uh, not the last earnings, the second, it was two earnings ago. Two earnings ago it had this move, and I didn't like the way this broke. I didn't like it. And I had a feeling it might gap down. It didn't. And then it gapped up. But then when I saw the gap up this morning, I thought this is going to collapse, and this is what it did. I didn't put this in the room in the morning as a bullish watch, and I didn't make a call in it. I didn't say go long in it. I didn't say do anything. This is a hard, hard area for this. It's going to be tough for this stock to get over this number here, 104.10. Uh, this morning high was nowhere near that. Let's look at where it was exactly this morning in the pre-market. Again, you can't short this. No, didn't get, didn't get near it. You can't short this, but I didn't call it as a long, and I didn't end up doing anything in this. I did not do anything in this at all. So, you know, is this fixed now back up again? No, not yet. I mean, this this is just, I think there's not enough uh, data in this now anymore. The way that it acted was still not right, despite the fact that it didn't gap down and despite the fact that it gapped up. You just can't do anything in this right now. If I see anything in it, I will, I will call it, okay? I'm telling you right now that this is an unusual learning season uh, for some of the things that we did play pretty much all of the calendar year of 2016 that we did options in. Nothing makes any sense. Nothing makes any sense to do. What do I mean? I mean, the amount of money that we'd have to risk to profit on these trades does not make any sense at all. I've looked at every one. I keep looking every day. Nothing makes any sense. I mean, so what are you going to do? I mean, these things, we would have to do things in numbers that are so bizarre, there's no chance in hell they'd ever hit them. So it doesn't make sense. We may not do any options until second quarter. I'm not going to just call things, you know, for the sake of calling them that cost too much money. So we just wait, all right? I didn't call anything a BABA. It's nothing to do. I did make one uh, trade call yesterday. If you're on the options list, you should have gotten it. 
but the things that we normally do, I, there's nothing that we can do that makes any sense, and we're not doing them, all right? This I really thought would gap down, it didn't, but you wait and see. I don't like this right here as a long right now. I knew it would fall today on the, on the day when I saw the gap up. It's gonna have a hard time getting over that number of 104 something, and I just think there's not enough data on this chart right now. It didn't act right after that gap that happened last summer. It should have held. So I, anything is possible in this. It's a little wild. So we're just going to continue to day trade, and we've been doing extremely, extremely well. And when I see a good option, we'll do it. And, and if I don't, we won't. And look, look at this. Perfect exit in this today. So $50 was the morning target. It should not go over the high. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Any questions at all? Let's look and see what we have out tonight. Hold on. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Cree. Cree is out tonight. Uh, STX. Let's look at those. AA. Cree, AA, STX. Nice watches. Okay, well, this is a, definitely a watch, Cree. We're probably going to do that tomorrow, but I don't know where or how. AA. Woo, look at this flying. No clue what this does. Flying day, flying for the last week. Hmm. STX. Any questions, any comments, any anything? Classes this weekend? Uh, STX is a good watch too. I think this works in our favor. STX is probably gaps down. Don't do anything in it, but I think it does. This is a good watch. We got some things to do, some things to watch. Here goes, there goes Yahoo. There goes Yahoo. And I didn't make an official call on this, but I told you it was a long. Did anyone go long Yahoo? $45 is the target today. It looks like it's gonna get there. Let's look at the market. Market not going anywhere yet. It's waiting for the spine. It's trying. Let's look at this. Any questions? <laughs> Uh, what was the one? LMT. That was the one that, this was a very expensive one that I didn't rate and didn't want to do. Oof. Glad I didn't do that. Look at the spread in that. This looks like it's going to go though. Any questions from anyone about anything? Everyone's quiet. Everyone should be up. Everyone should be happy. Everyone's very quiet. Thank you, Em. You're welcome. How are you doing, Galahad? Think about the things I said yesterday. I gave a lecture yesterday. Some of you laughed. Some of you weren't here. I taped it. I put it on YouTube. I gave a lecture in the room. Uh, it's a good lecture. If Some of you need to go back and, and listen to it. Uh, if you weren't here, you missed it. You got to be here every day to get the calls. You got to be here every day to get the trades. And if you join the room and you're a member, you should be anyways, okay? And you just take it and do it. It's really just about making money and 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 doing it consistently. I mean, I've just been doing a great job this year. So, back in a groove and it's all good. You couldn't make yesterday. How did we do? Well, 
We did QCOM. It opened and swooshed. Look at it. Went to 53 something. Never saw that number, but I really probably got out of this a little bit too early, but I usually don't like to trade in the Monday, so I'm happy that I did anything at all. Look at that, though. It really has to do with your belief systems. It has to do with your mind. It has to do with your belief systems. Um, I'll tell you a funny story, uh, and then I'll let everybody go. A funny, funny story. So some a person, a, a person, a man, has been... I was trying to get in the webinar last night. Trying to get in the webinar last night. Can't can't get into Hotcom for some reason. There's a workaround if you have a Mac for the Hotcom. My guess is the guy's got a Mac. So, anyways, he couldn't get in. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna read his exact email to me because this is this ever people. You learn from me, but you can learn a lot from other people, and I need to share more some things so that other people are telling me because it will help some of you people. And I definitely help you people, but I think other people's stories will help you people to use examples. So he couldn't get into the room. He couldn't get into the webinar. He couldn't get into the trial room. I found it impossible to log in. The instructions and jargon are not user friendly. Okay, this is his email. Then after I, I sent back, I, I sent Kathy to the support to try to help him get in. I guess he just gave up. He said, this has defeated me. The system has defeated me, meaning Hotcom. That was this gentleman's response. Okay. I wrote him back this morning and I said, I, this is, he's just trying to get into the Hotcom. This is not even about trading or anything. I said, you cannot let such a small thing defeat you. How will you trade then? The, it is your belief system that affects what you do. If it is a challenge for you to get into Hotcom, how on earth are you going to trade? And if it if there if you're having issues, then work it out, fix the issues, talk to support, and get in. If you're having issues with your platform, talk to the people, the customer service, fix the problem, get in. If you're having issues with something, fix the problem, get in. You've got to overcome the problem. This this defeatist attitude that people have is unbelievable to me. It is it is it is your attitude and your belief system. You, some people have such a defeatist defeatist attitude. How are you going to be successful then? I mean, the only way is if I would sit and press the button for you every single day. That would be ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I don't have time. I have to do my own things. This defeatist attitude that traders have it, it works against them. And I'm telling you, if there's something in your mind that you think is impossible, then you better start to think it's possible. Otherwise, you will never make it happen, whatever it is. If you're doing well in here and you're making money, but you don't feel like it's enough, then ask yourself, why? If you can't find the reason why you think it's impossible, then you've got to just tell yourself that it is possible and don't overanalyze it anymore about the whys. Just say it is possible so that you can actually make it happen. This defeatist mentality thinking that it is impossible to get in the hot climb room is bizarre world to me, but I'm telling you it's a great example of how people have a defeatist mentality and they think things are impossible and therefore they don't make them happen then they wonder why. It's very easy why. They don't believe that they can. If you think you don't have enough money to train, then you won't. If you think you're going to lose, you will. If you think you can't get into Hotcom, you probably never will, and therefore you'll never take my class or be in the room or make money. Many people has to do with their belief systems about things that they think that are completely inaccurate. And I'm talking from experience because sometimes I catch myself. Sometimes I catch myself and I think things, but I don't, I don't tell you people. I sometimes think things and then I catch myself and I think, and I laugh at myself because I'm very good at analyzing myself. I can, no one looks at myself more honestly than I do. And I look at myself and sometimes I look at myself and I, I laugh to myself and I think, you silly girl, you silly girl, Melissa, why would you think that you're that's so silly, Melissa? And I catch myself. Sometimes I catch myself immediately. Sometimes I catch myself after the fact. Sometimes I'm talking to a friend and I say something and my friend says something and then I start laughing because I realize that what I said was so ridiculous that I don't even know why I said that. So, you know, you know, it's, we, we <laughs> have to, you have to look at yourself honestly and be willing to overcome the defeatist mentality of thinking that sometimes things are impossible because I'm telling you that nothing's impossible. And if you don't believe me, look at the fact that Trump got elected president because as far as I'm concerned, the best thing you can get from that is that absolutely nothing's impossible. <laughs> and I said that the day that he won. 
Whether you voted for him or not, the fact that he won the election means that absolutely nothing is impossible and anything is possible, and you can become a billionaire and president of the United States if you want to, and you can become that from nothing. So the fact is that nothing is impossible. And until you recognize that and start getting over the mental things, you're going to have a hard time moving forward. And if you can't get into the room, then you'll never learn from me. Galahad's laughing. It's true. Unless I'm willing to run a stock switch fund, then I'd have to get a license. Then I'd have to talk on the phone with a million investors all the time. Then I'd have, to, I'd have to talk on the phone with people that would be wondering, what did you do? Or what did you do in BAB? Or are you going to do this? Or gonna... I'd have to spend all my time talking to people whose money that I would be investing. And I'd have to get licensed, which I'm not. And I have no interest in getting licensed. And look, Verizon's setting up again. It did flip over 50-50. I'm not going to call this again, but it looks like it wants to go. And it did hold the stop, which I said. It's not going to flip on the day, but I'm glad I got out where I did. No, I don't. I have no interest in getting licensed at, at, at all. Uh... It's very easy to join the webinars. If you have a Mac, there's a workaround for that. And some people have things where if they're at the job, if they're at work, they have blocks like on the computer, you can't get into certain websites. I didn't, I didn't think that was the case with Hotcom. I know it is with certain, certain other websites. You, you work at a company, they have certain things blocked. But it was a good example. I hope that gentleman understood what I said back to him this morning. We'll see if he responds. I'm trying to help him. I'd say things to people and I, I'd, I'd try to help them. Troy, you're in here. I said something back to you last night. I'm not going to say what that was, but I said that to try to help you. I hope you're listening. You have a different problem. I said it to help you. Think about what I said. It has to do with what you're thinking in your mind. You have to turn that around. What you're thinking isn't the truth. What you're thinking is what you think you think, but that's not reality. The reality is, you know, what... A normal person has. A normal people, normal people. When I say normal, I'm saying the average, everyday guy. Everyday guy who wants to trade the market usually opens up prop accounts. They usually don't have the money to open up a retail account. A retail account, you've got to have 25000 And actually, you have to have more. Because if you don't have 25000 and you slip under it by five cents, you will, get a, you will get a margin call and you will have to send money or a, a day trading call, whatever it's called. You will have to send five cents. You can't be up against your account. And many people, the, the normal average guy does not have 25000 and they go to prop places, okay? So if you're, if, you, if you're not a normal average guy, you're beyond a normal average guy. So stop acting and thinking like you're an your average guy. You're not an average guy. We have to give ourselves the credit that's due. I know that some of you wish that you were doing better in your lives, financially or whatever the case may be. But the reality is, give yourself a pat on the back for where you're at right now. And for those of you that just learned the system and that are just did the class and are doing well, I mean, you really got to give yourself a pat on the back. Susanna, she signed out already, but she just did the class. In fact, she didn't even do the whole class. She missed the first day, ended up doing Sunday, is already risking money. Now she's thinking about upping her risk. And guess what? Susanna is a... Um, an acupuncturist that lives in New Jersey. She, she has nothing to do with the market at all. She only did half the class. She's just taking my calls. Now she's going to increase her risk next week to $400. She's an acupuncturist. She's not, not, a, not a professional trader. Um, I don't even remember how she found me. I know she lives in New Jersey. She is an acupuncturist. She a, she's, does this uh, Chinese therapy or whatever it is. Uh, you with the points and stuff or the pressure points or whatever it is and she's doing well and she didn't even do the whole class her belief system is it works every day she said textbook 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 with the entries because she was there the second day for the entries today was one of them she's doing great you've got to keep your attitude right think about what the reality is okay stop comparing yourself to others that are you know that are doing better than you it's gonna just screw up your head if you look at yourself compared to the average guy nine times out of ten you're probably doing a lot better yeah acupressurist or acupuncturist i i went to her website i was like oh one time i did it a long time ago i didn't get anything out of it but i, I maybe i didn't do it enough i know i know i know people do it it works Gator says he struggles not with not jumping the gun and getting in a trade. You jump the gun too much is what you're saying. 
You really wanted to go in today at 50.75, but you waited and got filled at 50.40. You know if you got it at 50.75, it would have gone to 52. Just a comment. You know I'll face from your discussion, just a comment. You want to get in too soon? Uh, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to get in too soon? Why do you want to get in before it sets up? You said that last week, I think you did something, and then you ended up covering and getting yourself out of it and making money. What's your explanation? Why do you want to jump the gun? Dwight says that was you. You can't get in the webinar? Here, Verizon. You want to do it, you can do it again. I, I, I just, I, I'm not. The market's very bullish. But you could do Verizon again, stop 50, 75. 45 cents if you want it or thereabouts. It looks like it's going to break the low. And if it does, it should break $50. It bounced off 50.01. Late trade here if you want to do it. Time of the day is still okay. And it's setting up on every time frame. Um, I forget what I was going to say. You're always trying to get a better entry. Gator, why do you think you're going to get a better entry than me? You're not going to get a better entry than me. So I don't know why you think that. You've got to wait till it sets and triggers. And if it doesn't, then you can't do it. And you take the chance getting in at a higher price if the stock doesn't set up. This could have flown over 51. And I mean, it absolutely could have flown over 51. The stock fell into the target in the pre-market. We watched it happen. I didn't sit here and say, crap, we're not doing it. I said, this is still going to work. But I was very, very aware of the fact that I wasn't going to jump the gun on it. This could have flown up over 51 in a bullish market because the market gapped up today and it could have rallied all the way up here to 5140-ish and it would have been green on the day at, at 10 o'clock instead of looking like it does. But this is kind of fighting with itself now because people do like to go along this stuff into support and believe the gap fills work, but it doesn't. It's going to sell off like BMY. It is institutional selling. It wouldn't have sold off today if it wouldn't be for that. It wouldn't have gone red of the day if it wouldn't be for that. This did go to the first target. Does it keep going? I believe that it does. I don't want to get back into it because I made money and I feel good about my day and my job for the day is done and that's all that I do. And again, this goes back to, you know, feeling good about yourself and your expectations, okay? Many people, the normal average guy cannot do this the way that we did with the accuracy that we did this morning. Regardless of the money that you made, you should feel good about yourself if you did it and you did it with me and that's amazing. And don't worry about the fact that you didn't make a dollar out of this today. It doesn't matter. If you had stayed with the original trade, it would have rallied back. And you might have killed it with a break-even loss or a loss because it rallied back and retested the high. Okay? So here is the easy trade when you take it and you're immediately up and you immediately get out and your day is done. Otherwise, you suffer through this rally back. You're negative in the trade. You're worried and you're fearful and you don't know if it's going to go again. It did, but you don't know that. And you might have killed it with a loss or break-even. I don't think anyone here did that. I think everyone got out. <clears throat> but I'm saying this is, you know, this is what the danger of holding something through the area, wanting more and having a higher expectation of something, which I've done a lot better with this year myself. Now that I, you know, look at yesterday, I got out of this way too early and maybe I should have held it because it did open and swoosh, but I really wasn't honestly planning on even trading yesterday until I rated this. I really wasn't even convinced that this would do anything right. But then when it did, I did it. So I'm proud of myself for doing it. I typically don't like to trade on a Monday. But when it swished, we had to do it. But because it did, I could have held it longer. I just didn't. Anyways, the whole point I'm trying to make is that your belief system has a lot to do with how you act and think and the things that you do. And you need to take control of your mind. And it is based on you. And it is on you. You have to realize and recognize what is the reality. And the reality is something that you were going to create. And it has to do with your belief system. What do you believe? What do you believe that you deserve? Okay, and and getting getting in sync with that. This isn't about uh, giving up on your dreams to do X Y Z or some amazing thing with your life, but it is a process, and the process takes time. And if you don't get your head right, then you will never get on the right path. And so you have to get on the right path, which has to do with getting your mind right. And a lot of us look at the past too much and think about the past. I don't do that as much as I used to, but every once in a while I will catch myself. But I find that a lot of traders live in the past. You made 38.5% before commissions on today's trade. Yeah, Melissa. Oh, thank you, Koala Bear. You are funny the way you look at things. All right, good day today. Good day. All right, I will see you tomorrow. 
Think about the things I said. This is going to go again, but I'm not in it, but it looks fine. You could have done it again. It was a real second call, not a kamikaze. It did rally a lot, but it held, and it's fine. All right, very good. Journey Women, send me a picture of your grandbaby. Have a good day, everyone. You're welcome.